Hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining us at St Mary's Stadium in Southampton today, the venue for our game, which Alan Smith will describe along with me, Martin Tyler. Leicester City. Southampton in action today against Leicester City. Southampton, right now today. Number 44. One of the most uh, southern football clubs in England, Southampton. This is a relatively new home for them, St Mary's Stadium. Yeah, they've enjoyed some good times in recent years when you think of Pochettino's season and then Ronald Koeman. Success he enjoyed. I'd be hoping they can continue that. Here's the Southampton team for you. Shot on! Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. But I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had the chance to uh, get his shot away, even though he had to take it quickly. Should have done better. It's with Maris. Good screening, and he's kept the ball. It goes out wide again. Free kick given, and there's a real... Uh, Discussion now about how to make the most of it. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Now Mares. Some options now for the pass. Made the challenge well. And shoots! Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. They've got a corner now. Hook's corner. That's frustrating to the coaches to see a corner there defended at the front post so easily. Now they can go forward, having won the ball. Bertrand. Oriol Romeo. Here's Cedric Suarez. Nathan Redmond to Davis. Could be dangerous. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. And that decision from the referee play on means it's advantage Southampton here. It's a pass, another pass. At the moment, just giving them possession and not much more than that. Well, here comes the support. And now the goalkeeper can... Maybe think about starting an attack. Stephen Davis. Dusan Tadic. Oriol Romeo. Bertrand. Neatly intercepted. The referee seeing that as a foul. It is a free kick. Had a goal! Well, he went for goal, and that was optimistic, but he was quite close. Wasn't far off, was he? Maybe the keeper would have got to it, but decent strike. Okazaki. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. The shot's on! He's made the save. Nathan Redmond. striving for a win that they think they're capable of. They've worked very hard in the build-up to this game to try and get themselves right for it. Now's the chance to express themselves on the pitch. Simpson. Okazaki. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Comes in with a tackle. Oriol Romeo. Redmond. Striding forward, purposefully. Gabbiadini. He's got his shot off now. Hit the bar. And here's the 
Here's the shot. And that shot's blocked very quickly. Okazaki. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. And here they are on the attack. Got the tackle in. Dusan Tadic. Manolo Gabbiadini. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Cedric. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. In really for what seemed a certain opening goal. Oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those that might play on his mind now for the rest of the match. Well, this thing was gone up for two minutes. That's a turnover to the opposition. Bertrand. Nathan Redmond. Attacking now. Good screening. And he's kept the ball. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. What happens uh, down in the uh, two dressing rooms now could actually determine the outcome of this game, Alan, because uh, nothing we've seen in the first half has shown whether we're going to get a winner or not. Everyone's settling back in their seats. Second half is underway. Mark Albright. It's Leicester moving through midfield into areas where they could hurt the opposition. A little private game between the two of them. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. well here cut up and the goalkeeper clutched to make the save Southampton's corner James Ward-Prowse with the corner cleared away well away from goal Ryan Bertrand Oriol Romeo and that decision from the referee play on means it's advantage Southampton here very good distance to the clearance. Dusan Tadic. It's Ward Prowse. Stevens. Now this looks promising. Manolo Gabbiadini. It's comfortable for Kasper Schmeichel from the back pass. Cedric. It's Ward Prowse. Here's a chance to attack. Dusan Tadic came in with a challenge. It's with Mares. Now he's looking for support. Gabbiadini. Here's Cedric Suarez. Great tackling technique to win the ball cleanly. Okazaki. In with a chance. Delivered into the box. It's not really away. Poor clearance. James Ward Prowse. Here's Cedric Suarez. Oriol Romeo. Riyad Mares. It's with Mares. Well, they're in a good position here. Good vision here. He's in here. In at the goalkeeper, just tried to slip it into the corner, but no. Well, he did well to get himself in that position, lose his marker, good movement, but, uh, well, finishing touch, not good at all, miles away. Well, that's what substitutes are for, to be used. We've got one coming on now. 
substitution for Leicester City. It's Ward Prowse. Off the pitch, number 11, Marco. Oriol Romeo. Coming onto the pitch, number seven, Dimari Young. Stephen Davis. There's some potential in this move. Important challenge now, he must get the ball away. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. It's Ward Prowse. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. It's with Mares. Steered through, whipped in from the wide area. There's the interception. Played forward, a bit of menace in this attack. Cleared away by the defender. Manolo Gabbiadini. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Danny Simpson. Come away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. Ryan Bertrand. Manolo Gabbiadini. That is a tackle and a half. That's easy to see. That's one of the easiest handball decisions he'll get in this game. Yeah, I think so. And even the player accepts it. He's got options on the bench, of course. To be replaced by number 23, Pierre Emile Hosebourne. Substitution for Leicester City for the Michael Pitch. Hello, Gabbiadini. Shinji Okazaki. To be replaced by Misha Tadic. Oriol Romeo. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Here's Gray. Christian Fuchs. Morgan. It's Jamie Vardy. He went in well. The fourth official has indicated... Two minutes left, that's added time. Two minutes of added time. Pierre-Emil Hoybjerg. James Ward-Prowse. Oriol Romeo, Bertrand, and time ticking away, there is the final whistle, the team's still level here after 90 minutes.